the Texas State Securities Board SSB executed an emergency cease and desist notice against a man for selling unregistered securities tied to a cryptocurrency trading platform. On Thursday, the agency said Mark Monker and his company, Financial Freedom Club, had paired up with another individual, Frank DeLotto, who operates 911 Money Story, which was also cited, to sell the shares. Though the platform wasn't named, the SSB said that Monker and DeLotto promised weekly investment returns as high as 8% in advertising materials circulated online to Texas residents. The agency also alleged that the parties involved sought to conceal the nature of the investments by sending invoices for watches instead of securities, explaining in its statement, DeLotto, Monker, and their companies are also encouraging investors to commit felony offenses in connection with an initial $2,000 investment in the trading program. According to the order, investors are told that after making the initial investment via a charger debit card, they will receive an invoice for the purchase of a gold Seiko watch, which you'll never get. DeLotto's statements are encouraging investors to file a materially false or misleading written statement with a financial institution, a state criminal offense in Texas, the SSB added. Monker and Financial Freedom Club were also implicated in another alleged investment scheme, this one focused on a cannabis growing operation, that involved another firm called Capital Cash. The scheme appears to be wholly separate from the cryptocurrency trading platform, according to statements. Yet like the crypto-related investment, according to the SSB, the securities involved were not registered for sale in the state. In an email to Coindesk, SSB Enforcement Division Director Joseph Rotunda noted that DeLotto concealed a prior criminal conviction for wire fraud from potential investors. Rotunda said these issues demonstrate the continued need for protections. Investors need to continue to be cautious when investing with an online investment program. Their best defense is due diligence, but they should remember that fraudsters may be attempting to thwart their efforts to obtain meaningful information, he added. Texas flag image via Shuttershock read the full filing below, ENF18CD01761 by Coindesk on Scribd the leader in blockchain news. Coindesk is a media outlet that strives for the highest journalistic standards and abides by a strict set of editorial policies. Coindesk is an independent operating subsidiary of Digital Currency Group, which invests in cryptocurrencies and blockchain startups.